morning, everyone. Uh, it's great to be here. Thank you all for joining us. I suppose I should start out with a confession. I'm actually not a big gamer, uh, though I do play FIFA 19 quite a bit and really enjoy how immersive it is. I also play Ashes cricket quite a bit. And for those of you who are wondering what cricket is, it's kind of like baseball, but better. <laughs> Another little known fact is that Google makes arguably the most played game on the internet today. It's the Dino Chrome game, <laughs> mostly played when there's no internet connection. <laughs> I'm not going to talk to you about the high quality graphics and sophistication you all are used to, but it does have a lot of players, and I probably logged more hours than I care to admit. While I'm not a big gamer, I do have the privilege of working at a company and leading a company full of people who love to solve hard computer science problems. For many Googlers, their journey with computers started with games. Games have inspired many generations of people to pursue careers in tech. And through that process, they build resourcefulness, creativity, and collaboration, all qualities that are key to solving hard problems. And within Google and Alphabet, games play a big part in developing our own technology. The best example I can think of is how we are making progress on AI. DeepMind's AlphaZero uses self-play to learn from scratch and master games like chess, shoji, and go. It's an important step towards creating a flexible, general-purpose system that can learn to solve many foundational problems. More recently, AlphaStar became the first AI to defeat a top professional player at StarCraft II, using a deep neural network trained directly from raw game data. Increasingly, games are helping AIs learn to tackle real-world challenges. Even beyond DeepMind, another great example we have is Waymo, where we use simulations in gaming-like environments to test things that aren't actually possible or safe at scale in the real world. In fact, Waymo has driven more than 5 billion hours in simulations of HK scenarios that vehicles wouldn't normally encounter. And we use it, we learn from it, and actually improve the systems that we'll be deploying in the real world. Perhaps the biggest impact of gaming is how it pushes us to make big leaps in computing and networking power, higher fidelity graphics, and the infrastructure that supports it all. All of you are pushing computing and technology forward, and I find that really exciting. At Google, we've always believed that technology should adapt to people, not the other way around. We've been building towards this vision for some time. For example, when we launched Chrome a decade ago, we imagined, we envisioned that it could be a modern platform for web applications and bring the power of web to everyone, including use cases that seemed impossible at that time, like high-quality games. Finally, we are making progress towards that goal. In fact, over the past two years, we've been hard, on work, hard at work on game streaming technology. And last fall, we launched our first public test with Project Stream. As some of you guessed, a technical test wasn't the whole view of our ambition. It was probably the worst kept secret in the industry. Internally, we were actually testing our ability to stream high fidelity graphics over a low latency network. We learned that we could bring a AAA game to any device with a Chrome browser and an internet connection, using the best of Google to create a powerful game platform. And when we say best of Google, it always starts with our cloud and networking infrastructure. Our custom server hardware and data centers can bring more computing power to more people on planet Earth than anyone else. Today, we are in 19 regions and in over 200 countries and territories connected by hundreds of thousands of miles of fiber optic cables. The best of Google also includes our open platforms that allow you to reach billions of people. With Google, your games will be immediately discoverable by over 2 billion people on a Chrome browser, Chromebooks, Chromecast, Pixel devices, and we have plans to support more browsers and platforms over time. That's in addition to all the people playing and watching games across YouTube and Google Play. 
And when we build these ecosystems, we always take the approach that we only succeed when our partners do. Collectively, our partners across web, Google Play, and YouTube have earned more than $110 billion over the past four years alone. And we are committed to this approach here as well. So now we are focused on our next big effort, which is to build a game platform for everyone. And when we say for everyone, we really mean it. It's one of our most cherished values as a company. Be it Android or Chrome or AI, we are dead serious about making technology accessible for everyone. But if you think about games, there are a lot of barriers for users to play high-end games. Beautiful graphics really need high-end consoles or PCs. And games don't have instant access. Think about the way the web works. You can easily share a link, and it works seamlessly. We want games to feel that way, too. Instantly enjoyable with access for everyone. I think we can change the game by bringing together the power and creativity of the entire community. People who love to play games, people who love to watch games, and people who love to build games. That means all of you. We are really excited to work with you. We want to build a platform. And we want you to show us what's possible. And together, I think we can create a new games experience, powered by Best of Google and built for everyone. Let's take a look. From the beginning of time, games have brought us together. Players and spectators. By the handful, the hundreds and the thousands. We built stadiums. Places to gather around every kind of spectacle. Glory. Tragedy. Pageantry. Community. Rivalry. And wonder. Until every city, town, and village had a place where anyone could play. Thousands of years in, our games have changed. But our need to come together remains. This new era of gaming needs a new place to gather. One place where anything you dream can be built. Playgrounds for every imagination. One place where you and everyone you know and everyone they know will all play together. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go, squad! Let's go! One place that never stops evolving. Where everyone will play. Where did he come from? <laughs> and watch. Yes! High five! Strike! Bam! And create. Winner! Woo! Nice! <laughs> from any screen, at any time. One place for all the ways we play. This is Stadia. Gather out. Welcome to Stadia. We are so excited by this. To do this well, it's important that we have the right people working on this, experts with deep history and heritage in games. That starts with Phil Harrison, who joined us about a year ago. He's a great leader and a great gamer. He's definitely someone who knows the difference between RPGs and NPCs. I'm going to pass the mic over to Phil to show you what we have built. Take it away, Phil. Thank you, Sinda. 